Liu Kang! The fundamentally best and easiest character to learn. What's up guys, Blitzer today bringing you another video. Liu Kang is a character that has been frustrating many people in this community. In this video, you will not only learn how to play as Liu Kang, but you'll also learn how to beat and counter him. He does not have crazy mix-ups or insane zoning games like other characters, however his pressure is out of this world. Liu Kang has some of the fastest and great range buttons in this game. He truly has one of the best neutral games and footsies overall. But a major part of Liu Kang's game is about to be changed and nerfed, which we will discuss in this video. Overall, I think he's a great character everyone should pick up and learn how to play because of how basic he is. Learning fundamentals with Liu Kang will make you that much of a better player at Mortal Kombat and I guarantee that. His combo routes are not that crazy, but his damage output is consistent and can lead to restands off of Bicycle Kick for more pressure. Even though he may not have many combo starters that can mix you up, his safe frame data is so godlike that he can catch you off guard. And trust me. Not to mention my favorite thing is that he can punish wake up attacks at anywhere on the screen for terrifying damage. First off, we're going to be talking about Liu Kang's tournament variation, Luohan Quan. It's definitely his most used and very solid for ranked, just as Ninja Killer. Low Fireball and Dragon Parry are definitely what makes this variation pretty damn good combined with his buttons. Starting with his pokes, Liu Kang is pretty damn quick and surprisingly his pokes aren't the biggest part of his game. I mean, you can use them the same way that you normally would for other characters, but his strings give more mileage. Not to mention his walk speed is pretty good, so his shimmy back and forth game is pretty solid. Both standing one and crouching one are 7 frames which are great for poking, and on hit you can dash forward and get a grab on your opponent. Standing two is a 10 frame startup so you won't want to use that to start combos. Standing three is a high kick that we can use in combo strings for juggles, but it can also anti-air opponents that are trying to jump in. Down three is a crouching low kick that has pretty awesome range and okay frame data at 10. It also doesn't knock your opponent away, so space this against your opponent because it's not that bad of a move. Standing 4 can also catch air attacks and juggle your opponent with a special move if you are mid-screen. Back 4 is Liu Kang's sweep which is honestly one of the best in the game. The range is great and deceptive since he takes a step forward in the animation. He also takes a step backwards after so if it's blocked even though it is minus 12 you have some decent space away from your opponent. Forward 4 is Liu Kang's main move that you will be using. At first glance it looks like it's a low attack but all the attacks in his move are mid. Which is disappointing at first but using his full string in matches will show you exactly why Liu Kang is a god. As of right now recording this, the startup for this move is 9 frames, however when patch 1.10 drops, this move is going to be slightly slower at 11 frames. It's still going to be a solid quick move that you're going to be using as him, but now opponents can anticipate things a little bit better. Back 1 is a 9 frame startup with not the best starting range. The full string is back 1, 2, 4, and all the attacks are mids which is a great thing. It's a great forward advancing string that can whiff punish enemies from mid range. Back 2 is a forward advancing mid string attack that hits twice. The start off on this move is 12 frames, it's minus 8 on block which is still safe, but the full string back 2 down 2 ends with a low and it's also minus 3 on block which is super safe. Forward 2 is a high hitting attack that can be ducked, but it launches your opponent upwards to create juggles with. You can also use it mid juggle combos to extend certain things. Back 3 is a forward advancing low attack combo starter. Its start up is 16 frames which isn't that fast. Forward 4 is still a better option to use even though it's not a low, you can still whiff punish easier with forward 4. Forward 3 is a 2 hit mid attack that looks like it's a low starter. The full string forward 3 3 3 3 creates a pop up to continue combos from. It also leads to good damage but it's also minus 12 on block which is not safe. Mix these in when you know your opponent's trying to hit buttons because it is a mid attack which is a huge plus. Now onto his combo strings. 1 2 is his fastest punish string at 7 frames. This move is so fast that from a juggle it can combo into itself 2 to 3 times. Both of these hits are actually plus 3 frames on block, however both attacks are high and can be ducked and then punished. So don't overuse this too much. 1-2-3 is the full string and is special cancelable, it also leads to good damage for 1 bar. 3-4 is only to be used in the middle of combos for a juggle. It's a slow starting string and both hits are high so you won't want to start combos off with this. The full string, 3-4-3 is special cancelable and pops enemies up but in mid combos most of your specials can whip, so it's an inconsistent string to use. Back 3-4 is a forward advancing low starter. It juggles enemies and can be used to try to mix people up, but most enemies are just going to block low against Liu Kang anyways. Forward 3-3-3-3 is Liu Kang's main pop up string. All the attacks are mids, but this move is unsafe. This string leads to some really good damage, so it's often tempting to use. The first two kicks are minus 9, which is not too bad, but be careful before committing to the full string and make sure you space this move well. Forward 4-3 is Liu Kang's main string that is soon to be nerfed. 
Currently, it starts off at 9 frames, but after this next patch, it's going to be 11 frames instead. 2 frames may not seem like that much, but it really does have an effect on the way people play against you and the way you play the character. But this string is really good because there are multiple ways you can end it to open your opponent up. Ending the string with up 3 completes the full string, which Liu Kang kicks the enemy back far, but this move does not combo. It does have a crushing blow that allows you to combo from, which we will talk about soon, but the final hit is plus 4 on block, meaning Liu Kang can loop you endlessly into this string. However, there is one way out of this string. Before that final kick, there is a gap that's long enough for where you can jab Liu Kang out of the move. Every character has access to this and can do this to Liu Kang. But Liu Kang can also switch this up and do low fireball instead to catch your poking jab. This is where many players find fighting Liu Kang to be a nightmare once he gets that pressure going. Low fireball is unsafe on block if it's not amplified, so be sure to watch out for that and punish accordingly. Also, to counter your low poke, he can do his parry counter and get a full combo punish if he amplifies it. You can beat his parry counter by doing crouching low kick instead because his parry does not register against low attacks. Keep these in mind when fighting Liu Kang. The best thing to do is to continue blocking low and fishing out that jab to interrupt him, or the parry to low poke him. Factoring online connections into this can also prove annoying to deal with, so fingers crossed that this nerf of 2 frames to him sort of helps you guys defend against this, especially online. Now onto his special moves. Liu Kang has a high hitting fireball that travels full screen. It can also be amplified to shoot 3 total fireballs full screen, but they are all high so they can all be ducked. Liu Kang can also shoot fireballs from the air from a rising jump or a falling jump. He can also amplify and shoot 2 fireballs while in the air. Low fireball travels full screen and hits the opponent low. It can also be amplified to shoot a follow up fireball that is also a high, and knocks opponents down. When you enter Shaolin stance, you can't move but you have 3 options. Once in a stance, if you press 2, Liu Kang will do a mid overhead mid string. There are a select few combo strings which you can cancel this into for mix ups but it's not always worth it. But it's still a great option to have that keeps opponents on their toes. While in the corner, this can connect on other strings that can't connect usually mid screen. While in Shaolin stance, if you press 3, Liu Kang does a low kick that knocks opponents to the ground. Pressing 1 while in Shaolin Stance cancels the stance using one defensive bar. This is great for faking pressure and getting free blocks. Since the 1 2 string is plus 3 on block, this is a good move to combine to get free grabs. The Flying Dragon Kick has amazing range and can snipe jumping opponents. Mainly use this to end combos and amplify for more damage and screen carry. Dragon Parry counters mid, high, and overhead attacks. It can be amplified to juggle and start combos, but it cannot parry a low attack. Bicycle Kick without the Amplify puts your opponent in a restand even if they were being juggled. Amplifying Bicycle Kick does more damage, screen carry, but it knocks your opponent down. You can also Amplify Bicycle Kick two times in a row for crazy damage and possibly the best screen carry after combos. Crushing Blows are up next. I'm not going to showcase his most damaging combos for them yet. That'll be later in the video. But unique to him and a few other characters, he can get a Crushing Blow off of both of his grabs. This can be executed when your opponent fails to tech the correct direction of the grab. So once you see that failed emblem pop up, be sure to fish out that forward or backward crushing blow. It's a very solid option for Liu Kang as these can lead to momentum shifting damage. As we mentioned before, his forward forward combo string is terrifying because of the pressure that it creates. But it can also crushing blow off of a punish. From mid screen you can get an amplified dragon kick for max damage or in the corner you can get a full combo which will be shown later in the video. From about full screen, if Dragon Kick is landed, it can crush and blow for straight up damage, no combo opportunities. If you land an Air Fireball, then immediately Dragon Kick and it connects, you can actually get a crushing blow off of this. It's a weird confirm, but it's still an option. My absolute favorite thing about Liu Kang is that you cannot spam wake up attacks against it. If you do and he uses his parry and amplifies it, he can get a pop up and easily do over 500 damage. Bicycle Kick is one of Liu Kang's easier crushing blows I wish more characters had access to. You need to have landed 3 amplified bicycle kicks and after that your next bicycle kick that's non amplified will crush you low for straight up damage. And what's great is you can load this up and land this at the end of your combo. Before we get into combos I want to talk a bit about Liu Kang's game plan. Yes he doesn't have mix ups but he thrives from his pressure game. Previously what made Liu Kang so strong was his relentless pressure game from 4 4 string. Pre patch this string was 9 frames on startup but this move is still plus 4 on block meaning that Liu Kang can still throw out a move first. However, now that Ford 4 string is 11 frames on startup, he can't simply go back into the string over and over again. Before he can lock you into it and force you to press the button and get hit, then crushing blow. Since now that it's 11 frames startup and 4 frames on block, he cannot lock you down. Before, you needed a move that was 5 frames on startup to beat him, which was impossible in this game. The 2 frame slowdown now means you can beat him with a 7 frame move. Even an 8 frame move will do it, but people are not frame perfect, especially online. So now your character's low jab or standing jab as long as it's 7 or 8 frames can either trade or hit him first. Knowing this is super important because you no longer have to stay locked down from his pressure, you can now react and even punish him. 
It's important to note that your low pokes can interrupt the gap before his final kick in this string, so be sure to utilize this until he starts to adapt and he uses low fireballs as a counter. Liu Kang's 1-2 string is plus 3 on block, which is an okay option for him, but don't let him take advantage with this. The 1-2 string both hits as a high, so you can duck both hits and punish however you feel like. Low pokes and jabs work just fine, but big damage and maximum combo ability for every character will come off your down 2 crushing blow. Forward 3-3-3-3 is a good pop-up string that can lead to some really good damage for Liu Kang. However, the complete string is minus 12, which is unsafe on block. Before fully committing to this string, be sure that it lands first. However, one other option you can do is press forward 3 once. The first two kicks will come out and they are minus 9 on block, which is not technically safe, but online is much safer than minus 12. Practice hit confirming this on practice dummies or against your friends. This will help a lot while learning Liu Kang, especially early on. Now here is the main part a lot of you guys could not wait to get into, the combos. Be sure to use the slow motion option for YouTube so you can get a better look if needed. I'm not going to show off every single possible combo for this variation, but I have a lot that I feel as a Liu Kang player you guys should learn and use in every match. The very last one does an insanely crazy amount of damage. If you can master and land that one consistently, then bless your enemy's goddamn souls. I hope you guys enjoy these and leave a comment below if you have any other questions. Also, if you have any other crazy damage and combos, be sure to mention them down below as well. I'm always happy to hear what you guys have to offer and I always appreciate the feedback and discussions that we get going in these comments. That's it for his first variation, now let's get into the second one, Wuxi Legend. In Wuxi Legend, we lose the low fireball attack and we lose the godlike parry, but that does not make this variation bad by any means. Energy parry is an okay move. By itself, it just negates your opponent's projectiles and it can be annoying to deal with, especially in zoning battles. Normally, your jab does about 2% damage, but with Dragon's Gift active, your jab will do 2.4%. 
very solid increase, especially when you add these to your crazy damage and combos. With Dragon Gift active, if you land an energy parry, it sends a fireball back at your opponent. It's a very good option and makes your opponent think twice before standing full screen from you. But the absolute best thing about Dragon's Gift is that it gives Liu Kang access to teleports. In addition to increasing your damage, this makes Liu Kang's pressure game insanely scary even in this variation. To turn this up a notch, you can also mix your opponents up on which way to block against your teleports, because yes, you can teleport and hit low and even overhead. Recently, the damage for this variation has been buffed slightly, so in my opinion, this is one of the best ranked variations we have access to. This is very rare and makes Liu Kang a true top tier character in my eyes. The heart and soul of this variation is without a doubt Dragon's Gift. At all times, you need to be looking to get this buff activated, because it can increase your damage and give you relentless pressure options from teleports. This makes this variation have anti-zoning capabilities, which is a definite plus for Liu Kang to have. All the same combos I showed you in the previous variation, minus the parry related ones, can still work for this variation. Just one advice I can give is sometimes you need to be creative with activating Dragon's Gift. Be sure to end your combos early and turn it on during block strings that are safe or plus on block like forward 3 up 3. Only his non-regular mix-up teleport is combable into his strings. This was purposely done so you don't get free mix-ups off of his lower overhead teleport. However, you still can do them to catch your opponents off guard. And now guys, newly added to Mortal Kombat 11, we finally have a third tournament variation. This one is called Dragon's Breath. This variation is super interesting and I think has really good potential to do really well on ranked. Liu Kang gets a command grab in this variation. You can also choose which side you want to keep your opponent on while doing the command grab, which is a great thing to have. You can even amplify this for more damage, but surprisingly no hit advantage increase like with Nightwolf. But if you did have that, it would make Liu Kang kind of broken. Liu Kang has access to a nunchuck stance in which he has three options to choose from. Pressing one does a bunch of fast hits and the second hit is an overhead. This is great for canceling your combos or block strings into. If you press three, Liu Kang starts off with a low hitting attack and goes into a bunch of hits as well. You can also press four while in this stance to cancel the animation. This costs one bar of defense. You can really create some mind games with this stance because in addition to having an overhead and a low attack, you can also do your command grab from this stance. So during block strings, this becomes a really versatile move for Liu Kang. Be sure to cancel your combo strings or block strings into this to keep your opponent on their toes. Command grabs are scary to deal with. Here are the following strings that nunchuck stances strings can combo with. Both the overhead and low work off of back 1-2-4 which is crazy because this is a 9 frame mid attack. Get used to this timing and you can open anyone up. Back 2 is a button that works for both the overhead and low nunchuck attacks. Another solid mid hitting attack that is also forward advancing. This variation is super new but I can't wait to experiment more with these options. 2-1-2 needs to be cancelled before the last hit so it can connect with the nunchuck flurry. The low version does not connect with this. Back 3's low kick connects with the overhead nunchuck flurry attack. This is a decent range low overhead option. The dragon's red string needs to be cancelled early in order for it to connect with the overhead flurry attack. It also works with the low nunchuck hits as well so this is a very versatile string. The last string is forward 4-3 which only works with the overhead nunchuck string. These are all the ones that I could find that work together. It's still very early but this variation has a lot of potential. The last ability this variation has is Shaolin Vanish. The teleport works like Raiden's, it does not hit the opponent but it helps you close the gap and create pressure. The recovery frames are pretty high for this move so don't expect to use this all the time. You want to use this when you're in a zoning battle or full screen against your opponent. This is a good move to use to get in, but be careful that they don't bait you into using this and get punished. You can also use this to close the gap if you knock your opponent far away full screen or even mid screen. This variation offers a pop-up crushing blow which is super useful, however the requirements for it are pretty strict and predictable. While in Nunchuck Stance, you have to land the low hitting dance move first, and then the next attack from you has to be the overhead one which creates a pop-up that can lead to solid overall damage. However, like I said, this requirement is super strict. You literally cannot use any other move in between the low Nunchuck hits to the overhead. Right here I use Vanish to close the gap and it does no damage to the opponent. But the crushing blow does not work here because Vanish was the second follow-up attack technically. The same goes for Jump and Punch or Kick. As you guys see right here, after the Jump and Punch I go right into the overhead nunchuck and it does not crushing blow. You can still get the crushing blow if your next combo string contains and true combos with the overhead nunchuck. So right here I land the low nunchuck and then combo forward 4-3 four, string into overhead nunchuck and it's still crushing blows. It's good to know this is how it works so you have flexibility and you don't have to be predictable with the raw overhead nunchuck attack. You can actually land a low nunchuck and then use one of the strings I showed you guys to combo into the overhead. These may seem like a lot of taking at first, but keep on practicing and playing with friends. That's how you're going to learn how to execute these combos with the utmost efficiency. Most of the combos for this variation are going to be the same as the previous ones. However, in this variation, you can actually end your combos with the command grab to keep enemies in the corner and have huge advantage frames after. And that 
wraps it up for this video guys that is Liu Kang all of his variations and also how to beat him going forward I won't be doing all three variations in these videos anymore simply because I want to dedicate more time to each one while also being as detailed as I can without going over 20 minutes my goal is to keep these down to 15 minutes and I think one variation per video is a good balance. So let me know what you guys think about this video. I tried to compile as many things as I could while making this the most informative that it can be, but leave a comment below on what you'd like to see next or recommend it. Up next is of course Terminator because he's coming soon and following him is Noob Cybot for my boy Fearless. Don't think I forgot about you. Hopefully these solo variations are a bit easier to edit and produce and ultimately make it much faster to consistently create and provide you guys with character guides. Pretty soon I will be announcing my Patreon and YouTube membership guys. Times are a bit hard and I hit a bit of a rough patch but things can only get better from here on out. I recently lost my job and I can't lie it kind of sucks especially with the holidays coming up soon. It, it really feels weird. Ultimately my dream is to make this my job and providing you guys with content always makes me happier. Plus who knows this could be a positive and overall benefit the channel much more. More information on this soon after the whole Terminator craze. I can't wait to dive into that character. Be sure to like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe if you're new. More Mortal Kombat videos will be coming your way and you won't want to miss any of that. So hit that notification bell to stay tuned. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.